Now is a good time to add a navigation menu to our website. So I'm talking about having a logo or a brand name up here on the left. Also, you know, some links up here starting from the right and going inward. So that's typical of most sites. So we're going to do that. We're going to create a responsive navigation menu. And then we're going to get WordPress to integrate into it so that it's dynamic and we can go into our admin section to change the menu items that show up here dynamically. So what we're going to do is go into our theme, go to WP content to get there and then open up themes and then custom theme. And we're going to use bootstrap to add this navigation menu. Now, let's look at our index.php file. We're going to add it just above the jumbotron. So remember the jumbotron is producing this kind of big call out with the gradient background that we added and we're going to add it just above that for now and so let's look at this functions.php file keep in mind that my file looks like this and you're going to want yours to look exactly like this for this nav menu video to work for you because i'm using version 3.3.6 of bootstrap and version 4 is about to come out, and in a few years or so, version 5 will probably come out. Uh, and it's just going to keep going, so it'll change. So I'm going to use version 3 to create this navigation menu. And I'll kind of show you both just so you can see. So I'm going to pull up getbootstrap.com. And to find the navigation menus, you just go to the components section. And you'll see nav, navs and navbar. So I'm going to click on that. And again, this is how the documentation works. I'm, I'm doing this to show you how to use the Bootstrap website. You just kind of read what they tell you to do, and then they give you these examples, and you can simply copy and paste into your site and then adapt from there. And if you really just read this, it's not too much to read. It really starts to make sense. So we're going to produce a nav bar kind of like this using code similar to this. And since we're on version 3, getbootstrap.com takes you straight to version 3 right now. In the future, it's going to go to version 4. So I'm just going to show you that. So bootstrap version 4. If I search that in Google, you'll see there is a website already for it. And they do have nav menus as well. So if I go to documentation, components, and find their navs, We'll just search for it. There it is. Then the nav code's going to look a little bit different, and that and the look and feel for it is slightly different from version three. So this code is going to be a little bit different in the future. But as long as you've got version three point three point six, or at least version three in general, over here, then you're going to be fine. Okay, so. What we're going to do is start adding version 3's bootstrap navigation to our code over here at index.php and we're going to do it right above the Jumbotron.